reading the Bible for inspiration. And the method we're using is called the Lectio Divina or Holy Reading. The Lectio Divina is a way of reading the Bible for inspiration, not for information. It is a form of prayer used in Bible reading. It is hundreds of years old. It's been practiced for hundreds of years. Just, it is just as relevant today as it was in the past. And it is a way of finding what the Holy Spirit is saying to you personally. Now the Lectio Divina has six parts to it. Each of them has a Latin name. Silence or silencio, read or lectio, meditate or meditatio, prayer or oratio, contemplation or contemplatio, and act or actio. Let's look at them one by one. The first is silence. Or silencio. Get into a quiet place. Empty your mind of other concerns. Focus on your breathing. That helps to slow down your thoughts. And invite the Holy Spirit's presence to join you in your life right where you are. Next, read or lectio. This is the first of the four readings of the passage that you will do. In the first reading, read slowly. Listen to what the meaning is of the passage, what it says to everyone. Then the second reading is the meditation. Or meditatio. Again, you're going to read it slowly a second time. Chew over the words, savor them as you read them. Savor the words, don't analyze. Listen for the spirit. What words are images? is the Holy Spirit bringing to your mind. I like to call it God's magic marker, that he points out passages that you should see for yourself. And if this is a story, the Holy Spirit may be drawing you to a particular character. Try to picture yourself of in, as that person when you're reading. The third reading is called a prayer reading. or the oratorio. Read the passage a third time. This time praying, how does the spirit marked passages relate to your life today? Are there any questions that come to mind? Talk to God about what he has brought to mind in this reading. Are you feeling led towards a pair of praise? a prayer of repentance for something you might have done, a plea for help or healing that is in that passage. And then if you will, you might want to journal your responses. Write down what the Holy Spirit is saying that you need to be praying for in that passage. The fourth reading is contemplate or contemplatio. This is where we think about what we've just prayed and let it sit in. Read it again, and then just sit and be still over it for a while. Don't expect God to speak, but be ready to hear him if he does speak. And as you sit in this moment, remember that you are loved and that God has spoken and give him thanks. Then we go on to the last reading, Actio, act on it. As you get up from prayer and from the scriptures, ask yourself, what has God been leading you to do that you need to do? Is there someone you need to forgive? Is there some sin for which you need to repent and to make restitution? 
Is there some problem you need to let God solve in your life? Get up in confidence, knowing that the Spirit is going to work in you and through you. Okay, let's do it now. Let's take Electio Divina. We're going to be reading Psalm 127, 1 and 2, unless the Lord builds. Our first step is silence. Sit still in a quiet place. Listen to the sound of your breathing. Pray that God will speak to you. And here's a prayer you can pray. Holy Father, make your presence known. Come, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, speak to my heart. And then we read it for the first time. Unless the Lord builds this house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. It is in vain that you rise up early and go to bed, go late to rest, eating the bread of anxious toil, for he gives to his beloved sleep. Notice what the whole psalm is saying. He's talking about the importance of rest, but mostly he's talking about God building his house. Savor these words. Don't read them fast. Allow the Spirit to speak them to your heart. Now we're going to read it a second time. Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. It is in vain that you rise up early and go late to rest, eating the bread of anxious toil, for he gives to his beloved sleep. Read it again and just sit still for a moment. Allow God to apply it to your heart. See what God highlights for you. In this case, the Holy Spirit is highlighting, it is in vain that you rise up early. Now read it a third time. Unless the Lord builds this house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchmen stay awake in vain. It is in vain that you rise up early and go to rest eating the bread of anxious toil, for he gives to his beloved sleep. So what is this passage that the Holy Spirit has brought to your mind? It is in vain to rise up early. What is that speaking to you as a person right now? What is there to remember? Have you been staying up too late? Do you need to be asking for forgiveness for wasting your time at night? Or should you be giving thanks that God is getting you up early to rest to rest in him. What is it there that you need to ask for? Maybe it is God, let me make sure that I can have that quiet time. What is there here to confess to God? God will show you in that passage things that are unique to you. Now read it again a fourth time. Unless the Lord builds this house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. It is in vain that you rise up early and go to late to rest, eating the bread of anxious toil, for he gives his beloved sleep. Sit still and rest in the Lord. Give thanks to God for this reminder to spend time early and go to bed early with him. And then finally, act on it. Get up from your prayer refreshed and get ready to act what God has shown you. Pray through the day that God will help you to get up early to rest in him and give you the insights that God has given you. Now that you understand what it is, the Lectio Divina, here's some passages that you can try. You can use some of these passages, uh, parts of these passages, or you can use other passages. But here's some, just some suggestions. Psalm 23. Psalm 121, Ephesians 2, 1 through 8, Romans 8, 1 John 3, 1 through 3, a Revelation 3, 20. As I said, you can use any passage in the scripture the same way. Well, that's it. That's the Lectio Divina. I give it to you that when you practice it, God can speak to you.